a new study shows that one in five sun-like stars in this galaxy are surrounded by planets that could meet some of the basic prerequisites for life like we have here. Uh, the study was published in the Journal of Proceedings of the National Academy of Science and is based on a three-year examination of data from NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. The findings uh, were that scientists calculated that 22% of stars are just like our sun and have planets similar to Earth with a margin of error of plus or minus 8%. So that, that's kind of that's big, but that's still a big number we're talking about. There are about 200 billion stars in our galaxy with about 40 to 50 billion of them like our sun, meaning there would be at least 8.8 .8 planets like ours that are probably inhabitable and have some sort of life. And if they've got some water and some air, maybe they have intelligent life, even though we don't have any here. <laughs> what do you think? So, I what love do you this. Think? Do you think, are there space creatures out there? I love the idea of it. And I know some astrophysicists are probably going to get me on this one, but I love the idea that maybe some of these planets are like parallel universes where a lot of us exist on all of these different planets just in different time periods with different decisions that we've Wow, you're, real, you're jumping I on like my like sixth idea. question. <laughs> <on> <laughs> that, okay. But yeah. it's a fun thing to think about. And there are so many people who already believe that they have seen aliens or seen UFOs or seen life from, uh, from other planets. And this is just kind of giving them some hey, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Do, do we have any reason not to think there's life anywhere else? I know people I, don't want to. Religion doesn't want you to believe that. But it seems when you look at something like this, you know, our star, our sun is just like a very simple star. It's nothing great. And they're showing you that there's tons of others out there. Can you imagine the Twitter followers you would have Ugh. if we, can you imagine uh, how many more people are watching the Rubin Report? I mean, granted, they, they speak in clicks, but, but uh, <laughs> they would be watching you for other galaxies. It would be great, yeah. just, just in terms of numbers. You know, I think that Beth is, is right. I do think that maybe uh, that this whole, you know, our whole Milky Way could just be like a mirror image of another Galaxy. I mean, how do we know we're not just looking into some crazy funhouse mirror? So we're looking into this Kepler. By the way, this Kepler guy. <laughs> That what guy. a what a sack on this guy naming all the planets that he found Kepler sixty nine <laughs> yeah. and Kepler you know what I mean it's like come on dude yeah. can you name him something else yeah they're not like, going to be happy about Kepler when they find right. out that they're a planet whatever they named it and we're right. calling Kepler forty two F they'll yeah. figure yeah. that out because of Twitter because yeah. yeah they will yeah they'll be pissed but I think what if it's just a big funhouse mirror and we're just looking at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Did I just That's blow your mind? You're both on the Funhouse Mirror thing. Yeah. I, I get that. I think that is kind of possible. But right? I think it might be a little more possible would be that there's all these planets that are at different stages of evolution, right? Okay. Because there's just different, some of them are going to be less advanced than us because life started, because the, maybe the planet's a little closer to the sun. So for some reason, they advanced a little slower. It's just earlier like us. That. Yeah, so it's earlier, it's earlier us, us or later <gasps> us. How about that? I love if that it's too. earlier us, I totally have to send a message <laughs> to seventh grade me. Yeah. I don't know if you're listening, Kepler 47, but that is not his brother. Oh, All God. right, I'm sorry. I, uh, She'll know what I mean. She'll know She'll what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a school dance. Long yeah. story. Should we be putting more research into this kind of stuff? Do you think? I think so. I mean, it, this is a it's a fantastic uh, it's a fantastic field, and now we have the technology on this planet to actually send up telescopes that we can see far off and into other galaxies. Why not put more research into it? Because you never know what we could find, yeah. although we don't want it to turn into a, you know, a place where we're going to another planet to mine for resources. And the it, avatar you know, theory. Yeah, it becomes yeah. an avatar thing. You don't right. want that to happen. Or what if we are really in, like, Horton Here's a Who, right? Like, what if we are it? Like, we think that Ooh. we're so smart, but really, there's a whole nother planet that's watching us and, and like taking care of us, or a whole nother galaxy rather, yeah. that's taking care of us. That's, that's like the episode of The Simpsons with Lisa's little tooth that created right. civilization. One yes. Of, one of my, uh, one one of my, of my favorites. favorites. Um, can we trust our government to do this properly? If, if we were to ever make contact, or contact was made with us. Can we trust the people that are in charge not to screw it up? Or is there any, I mean, it seems to me we're gonna meet aliens one day and either they're gonna kill us or we're gonna kill them. I don't see any way really where we don't, uh, Some whoever's more advanced doesn't end up destroying, colonizing the avatar theory. I right. don't that think we send government to talk to them. We send comedians, we send, we send comedians. people who are Kira really fun and yeah. interesting. Yeah. We have the first conversations with you know actual people that don't talk in sound bites. You know, right. We have actual conversations, loosen them up a little bit and then maybe the the relationships can start with the bigger That's forces. wild. Then the the non-comedian on the panel pushing yeah. that we should push comedians the comics, yeah. out there as the international diplomacy. And, like, and then I like how she said, and then we give them the blankets with syphilis. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Here right, you go. exactly. Uh, I think we wrap that one up, unless you have any I other think, extraterrestrial I think we figured it out. Uh, thoughts. 
I mean, I would love it. I don't think in our lifetime, though, unfortunately. I mean, unless our lifetime is actually also happening in a perpendicular galaxy right now. It can now. happen with That's just the electric currents that you create through thought, according wow. to certain astrophysicists. Did we all just drop shrooms? <laughs> <laughs> That's how parallel universes are created. But I don't know if it'll be our generation, but I think our kids' 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 generations.